The Peppermint Pig is a children's novel written by Nina Bodden in 1977. It tells the story of the Greengrass siblings, George, Lily, Theo, and Polly, who experience the hardships of poverty and the loss of innocence. The novel explores themes of resilience and the power of storytelling to overcome adversity. While it delves into darker aspects, Bodden incorporates situational irony and humor to lighten the overall narrative. The story begins with an anecdote about Granny Greengrass, the family's elderly matriarch, who loses her finger while attempting to buy half a leg of lamb at the market. Despite the serious injury, Granny maintains a good sense of humor, joking about her indecisiveness. This sets the tone for the novel's blend of tragedy and humor. The focus then shifts to the Greengrass children, who live in London with their mother, a talented storyteller, and their outgoing father, who works as a coach painter. The family enjoys a comfortable life until their father is unjustly accused of stealing money from his employer. As the story progresses, the children's world changes drastically. The family's financial situation deteriorates, and they are forced to give up their pet pig, which their parents slaughter for food. The novel explores the harsh realities faced by impoverished children and the loss of innocence they experience. Throughout the narrative, Bodden emphasizes the importance of humor and storytelling as tools for coping with adversity. These elements provide moments of respite and enable the characters to transcend their difficult circumstances. The Peppermint Pig offers a poignant and realistic portrayal of the challenges faced by children growing up in poverty, while also highlighting the resilience and transformative power of storytelling in navigating life's hardships. After taking the blame for a theft he didn't commit, father decides to leave for America to join his brother, Uncle Edmund, and earn enough money to bring his family over. In the meantime, he sends mother and the children, including Polly and Theo, to stay with Aunt Harriet and Aunt Sarah in Norfolk. Adjusting to their new surroundings is challenging for the children. They realize that their family's financial stability relies on the generosity of their aunts. Although Aunt Sarah and Aunt Harriet are kind-hearted, the children feel uncertain about their future. Gradually, the family settles into their new life in Norfolk. They attend school and enjoy winter activities like skating on the village pond. It is during this time that they encounter Johnny, a small pig from the milkman's litter. Johnny earns the nickname the Peppermint Pig because he is the runt of the litter and therefore the least expensive. Mother purchases Johnny for a shilling, explaining to the children that pigs are a wise investment for those with limited means. Unaware of the true implications, Polly and Theo happily embrace Johnny as their companion. Johnny proves to be a loving and clever companion for the children. He quickly becomes a beloved figure in the town, known for his intelligence and playful nature. Unexpectedly, Johnny grows much larger than anticipated. He has memorable encounters, such as having tea with Lady March, the town's wealthiest woman, and causing havoc at a local fair. Unfortunately, Johnny's time as a pet for the Greengrass family comes to an end. Mother, who still sees him as a financial asset, decides it is time to slaughter him to support the family. The children are devastated by the loss of their beloved pet. Additionally, they begin to realize that mother knew all along that father had no intention of returning for them. The Peppermint Pig explores the themes of sacrifice, loss, and the harsh realities faced by impoverished families. It depicts the children's bond with Johnny, their gradual understanding of their family's circumstances, and the loss of their innocence as they come to terms with the truth about their parents' choices. Initially consumed by frustration and anger, Polly finds herself at a loss on how to navigate the aftermath of Johnny's fate. However, as time passes, she gradually realizes that sacrifice and loss are inevitable aspects of life, present in various forms. Polly comes to understand that it is within her power to choose how she responds to these challenges. In the closing chapters of The Peppermint Pig, Polly and her siblings embrace a sobering and bittersweet truth. They acknowledge that life is filled with moments of both joy and sorrow, and it is their resilience and determination that will shape their journey forward. Despite the pain they have experienced, they find solace in the realization that they can shape their own future. With newfound strength and a deeper understanding of the complexities of life, Polly and her siblings embrace the uncertain yet hopeful path that lies ahead in Norfolk. The novel concludes with a poignant sense of acceptance, as they embrace the possibilities that await them, knowing that life will continue to present challenges and choices. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.